So I don't do very many videos like this very often, okay? But last weekend, I went out of town. I was on vacation, okay? And when I went on vacation, I met this girl. And me and this girl, uh, we we kicked it off pretty quick. Things were good. I went on a date with her, and she seemed, like, well off, right? Like, she seemed pretty rich. So because of that, this is a story probably worth hearing. This is a story probably worth watching until the very end, and I think you guys are going to get a kick out of this because, seriously... You, once you see this, you, you cannot unsee this shit. So let's dive in. So her name's Jennifer for this video and probably in real life. You can decide if it's for real life or not, but for right now, it's Jennifer. Jennifer Aniston, let's say. Okay, <laughs> anyways, here's how this goes. When I say in the title, I witness female nature in action, that's 100% true. And here's what happens. So I... You guys know I've been single for a few months now, okay? And I've I've just been living my life, enjoying, you know, building my business, staying on my purpose, doing yada, yada, whatever. The same thing any, any single guy who's 26 would do. I stumble across, across this cutie, so we meet up, um, and I just, like, talk to her, and she seemed, like, really, like, well off. <laughs> I don't know that sounds kind of funny, but I'm just like, hmm. So you have like a probably a regular job or like what do you do or just like casual small talk but she's got like brand new car right like there's some things aren't adding up like you can just tell it seems like she has quite a bit of money so i say i'm like well what do you do i'm like <laughs> and she got kind of quiet so i'm like are you a stripper right like are you <laughs> you uh you dabbling is this like stripper money what do you got rolling here and long story short like Obviously, I'm, I'm guessing you guys, and, and you got you to gotta understand, right? We live in a world right now that's kind of like fucked up. Like everybody knows this. Everybody knows the world's kind of weird right now. And the premise of today's video is men don't value two things. Men, number one, definitely do not value their attention. And men do not value their time or a lot of times for that matter, their money and what they invest into. So we're going to get through a lot of things in this video. I'm going to teach value exchanges. I'm going to teach what actually happened in this story. Regardless... She's like, no, well, I, it's like, long story short, she's like a sugar baby. And I'm like, is this OnlyFans money, right? Is this stripper money? Are you working a street corner money? Like, I don't know. I don't know what to say, right? And she's like uncomfortable and offended. Like, no, why would you think i do that? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, well, I don't know you. <laughs> Isn't this just natural if you see like a girl like this? And then I kind of get in the weeds. I'm like, well, how, how many girls is this guy taking care of? She's like, well, I don't really know, right? But I'm and then instantly through the interaction like you know she's backpedaling like well i don't really have to see him a lot or i you know haven't been sleeping with him or blah 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 trying to justify things and i'm like no 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 right like you don't you don't got to justify anything just like I, and i don't judge you tell me what's going on because like i and I, I said to her too i'm like you know what like if somebody came up to me and they're like hey casey I'd love to just pay for everything for you. I'd love to take you out on extravagant dinners and yada, yada. I'd probably say yes to, okay? I probably would say yes to. But here's what you have to understand. In order to truly build a real connection with a woman, in order to actually make a woman love you or like you or see value in you, like the thing is, is like there's a difference between being on your purpose and making money paying for dates and stuff like that and leading with money with the expectation that if you take care of this person or if you do shit for this person, they're naturally just going to love you. So the thing is, is like if, if you guys know men who have done this, whether that be through asking for feet pictures on Instagram, this could be asking for, you know, send, sending women money on Venmo. You see this, you see this shit all over. You have, you have girls who in their, their Instagram bio, they'll put like their Venmo or something like that. And it's like, obviously that Venmo wouldn't be there if there wasn't guys sending them money. So here's what you have to understand. What this really comes down to when it comes to dating is there has to be some sort of premise of respect. In order for a woman to respect you, you have to be a man worth respecting. So if you're so quick to give a woman your resources, if you're so quick to give a woman your attention, if you're constantly giving value, right, and she has to give no value back, you have to understand that you're driving the price. You're driving the value of your attention down all the way. So you might be wondering, well, Casey, like, 
if I make a lot of money, why is it that I can't just take care of a woman or do these things and she'll fall in love? And it's because it's not necessarily what they're looking for. Like this shit was known like years ago, even like everybody's heard the song by the Beatles. You can't buy me love. Okay. What you have to become as a man is you have to become the total package. You have to become full stack. If you've watched this channel for years, you will know straight up that I've, I've constantly said you have to be full stack. So not only does your purpose, your business, your finances need to be on point, but that's just one piece of the puzzle, right? Like that's, that's, that, that right there will, will, will show your competent. That will show long-term provisioning. That will show long-term care. That will show that you're probably a good bet for the long haul. But what comes before all that? Well, the, what comes before all that is all of the things that make you, you, right? This is where your charisma comes into play. This is where how you look comes into play. This is where like, are you fit? Does that come into play? If you guys are not hitting the gym, you have to be hitting the gym because all of these things, what it starts to do is it separates you from the pack. Now, keep in mind, this video in no way, shape, or form, I'm not trying to say, oh, you know, women are evil because they're get it, getting all this money. Women are evil because they're getting all of this free attention. Women are evil. It's, it's not their fault, right? It's, it's, it's men's fault. It's 100% the guy's fault because it's the guys who are facilitating these types of interactions. It's the guy who guys who are facilitating these types of interactions. When I went a little deeper with this conversation with this girl, I could I could not tell fully if this was what was implied, but what I could tell you was like there seemed to be this underlying expectation where like eventually uh things with this other guy would go somewhere, right? Or you could tell like he's actually obviously very into her, falling in love with her right? It, you could tell these things. But then on retrospect of that, like just because a guy does all of those things for that girl doesn't necessarily mean that that girl is going to feel a certain type of way. It doesn't mean that she's actually going to feel any sort of attraction to you. It doesn't mean that she's going to fall in love with you. So there's a few things you have to remember with this video. Number one, has my message a lot of times over the years consistently been to stay on your purpose and to consistently level up your finances and put that first? Yes, absolutely. And if you put yourself into a position where you can take care of a woman, bonus points for you, right? It's going to make it easier for you to maybe get married one day if that's what you want to do. It's going to make it easier for you to have a family one day if that's what you want to do. It's going to make it easier for you to be out there in the world and live life on your own terms. These are very attractive traits to women. But then what about all of the other missing links before that? Well, this is where it's like, do you take care of yourself? Do you have high self-care? Do you understand game and flirtation? Can you make good connection with a girl, right? Do you, do you look strong and able and capable? Do you look like if shit hit the fan, you're strong enough to protect, right? Does a woman feel safe with you? All of these other things are like all of the other pieces of the pie. They're all of the other pieces of the puzzle. And the reason why I made this video in the first place is because when you actually see these things in real life, like when you watch a woman's lifestyle that's facilitated by somebody, like completely to the utmost degree when you see like the the expenses that you know that that girl gets to to buy or you see the adventure she gets to go on or you see how she's com completely financially independent living life on her own terms when that piece is taken care of it's like what's the other side of this well deep down like <laughs> you're still going to want to find a guy that she has connection with like all of those things are still super important that i just discussed so in order to make this point even hit harder like here here's what i think you, you, you need to understand with this. Okay. If you are so ready and so willing to give away all of your attention, if you are so ready and so willing to give away your money and your resources, if you're so ready and willing to do all of these things, just to try to prove yourself to somebody. And I don't care if we're talking about a woman or a man, or excuse me, I don't care if you're talking about a, a woman situation where you're dating, or I don't care if you're talking about a friend situation where you just met somebody. If you're so ready and willing to do those things for absolutely no reason and with no expectation of nothing in return, you're going to start to get taken advantage of. That's what guys need to understand. Like if you don't want to get taken advantage of, you're going to have to do the things that actually won't lead you to be taken advantage of. So keep in mind, in no way, shape or form is this, is this girl bad. In no way, shape or form is this girl evil, right? She fell into a lucky situation where there's somebody who wanted to take care of her. Chances are a lot of times what happens is with these older guys, a lot of times they're, they're, they're sugar daddies to multiple women. Right, they got two, three, four, five other girls they're they're going on adventures with, dates with. Right, maybe they enjoy that. Maybe they're in that that situation or that predicament. But if any, I know a lot of you have come from the red pill space, or some of you over the years even categorized me as that. I never did 
right, specifically. But the fact is, like, the whole alpha seed beta need thing could never be more true. Like, in order to actually win in the dating game, you have to provide both sides of the puzzle. Like, a woman has to be able to look at you and be like, yep, like, he does it for me. He's hot. He's attractive. And then when she finds out all of those other things about you later in the back, in the background, like in the, in the back end, like what I call that in some of my older videos was a back end game. When she starts to see like, Hey, not only is he like attractive and I'd, I, 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 I could see myself with him and like, he turns me on, but all of a sudden there's all of these other things, right? You have your life in order. You have your business on point. You have your purpose on point. These are the things that make you full stack. And when a guy becomes full stack, like it's it's very, very hard to lose in the dating game. And oftentimes it's very hard to not have options. So for some of you who like you, you just found this channel or you just started watching this channel, what you have to remember is that the work will always come first. Like it's Sunday today. Okay. I don't have to make this video. Okay. I'm doing it because I want to. Okay, so it's Sunday today. I don't have to make this video. I want to make this video. And that's the difference between working and trying to make money just to get by and actually working and making money and facilitating something for yourself because you're on your purpose. When I make videos like this, when I connect with you guys, I genuinely get enjoyment out of it. So even though I've made a thousand videos on this channel, it, it doesn't feel like I've worked a single day in my life. And that's what I need. I, I need you guys to understand that fundamental premise of actually building something and finding something for yourself that gives you so much drive that will naturally uplevel your charisma, that will naturally uplevel your personality, that will naturally uplevel who you are. So I think all of these things are important. And the gist of this is like, if, if guys continue to keep paying for OnlyFans, if guys continue to keep sending women Instagrams or cash apps right or through their Instagram for no reason, if guys continue to give away their money and resources and are consistently so nice and so ready and so willing to please, there's absolutely no way you can be a man who's respected or respectable. So keep these things in mind. Like this is so important, okay? Because you do not want to end up on that side where you're not respected, you're not valued, and oftentimes you give, give, give and get nothing in return, Okay. That's the fundamental premise in any interaction. I don't care if it's friendships. I don't care if it's dating. I don't care if it's business, whatever the case may be. And when you're, when you're, when you're single like I am, or when you see these things um, in real life, it, it really opens up your eyes, right? Because I'm so used to this style of living, or I'm so used to making these videos. And I, I see these, I, I hear about these things, but until you actually see them in person, it, it's hard to even comprehend or hard to wrap your mind around. So that's my story, right? The, I hope you gained some nuggets of wisdom through this. I hope you actually like got value out of this besides just hearing my story. I think that this was one hell of a video, right? Hopefully it, it stays in the books for a long time. But hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.